Now my body says that you can't do this, boy But my pride says, oh yes, you can I ain't as good as I once was That's just the cold, hard truth <laughs> I still throw a few back Talk a little smack When I'm feeling bulletproof So don't double dog dare me now Cause I'd have to call your bluff I ain't as good as I once was But I'm as good once as I ever was May not be good as I once was But I'm as good once as I ever was Good afternoon and on behalf of the family, welcome. You are here today to celebrate the life of and to say farewell to Leonard John Russell, better known to you all as Len or Lenny. My name is Bev Battens. I'm the funeral celebrant and it's my privilege to conduct this service. I thank you for your presence here, united in strength and love, to remember Lenny a truly hard-working man. He was down to earth, generous and trusting, a good advice giver who helped a lot of people, but nevertheless wouldn't stand for any crap. To his family, he was the devoted husband, father and pop. A couple of his attributes his family mentioned were Lenny was cheeky all right, he could talk the legs off an iron pot, and he was a very witty man. <clears throat> when someone we love dies, we are forced with trying to understand one of life's great mysteries, and time seems to stand still. We are faced with the past, the present and the future all at once. The past, when everything was okay, is too painful to contemplate. The present, in which we are seized with grief, dominates everything. And for the future, whatever it was to hold has been taken away. We wish that somehow we could turn back the clock and make everything turn out quite different to the way it was, and it has. There are no quick fixes. There are no magic words. There are some situations in life that just take time. Time to grieve, time to cry, time to process, time to wrestle with big concepts, time to rediscover what we truly believe in. Perhaps <coughs> these words, following words will help you bear the burden of grief at this time. Feel no guilt in laughter, Len knows how much you cared. Feel no sorrow in a smile that he's not here to share. You cannot grieve forever. He would not want you to. He'd hope that you could carry on the way you always do. So talk about the good times, the way you showed you cared, the days you spent together, all the happiness you shared. Let memories surround you. A word someone may say will suddenly recapture a time, an hour, a day that brings Len back as clearly as though he was still here and fills you with those memories you hold so close and dear. For if you keep those moments, you will never be apart, and he will live forever, locked safely in your heart. And now the eulogy. Leonard John was born on the 24th of December 1958 to Leonard Keith and Carmel Ann Russell, both deceased. He was a much-loved brother to Wayne, Deb and Greg deceased, and Craig. Len sadly passed away in Adelaide on the 24th of December 2022 on his birthday, age 64. 
Lenny and Judy met when he became friends with her younger brother and were married in the Uniting Church, Beanley, Queensland, on the 4th of November 1978. They were blessed with three children, Nathan, Peter and Linnell. With partners Matthew and Deb, four grandchildren were added to the Russell family. They are Connor, Lachlan, Alexis and Scarlett. Len was born in Balmain, New South Wales. Then the family moved to Queensland. He left school early to join his father in the bricklaying business and then later branched out with his own business, Russell's Bricklayers. <coughs> Len has been a bricklayer for 37 years, covering a huge part of Australia while working. Len has always followed rugby league. Barracking for the West Tigers Rugby League Club in New South Wales. He received a life membership from the Central Australian Rugby League for his commitment to the sport. Another award received from the Knights Rugby League Club was for the best club person in 1992. This award was given because, and I quote, your energy and efforts have not passed unnoticed. Besides rugby, Len loved to watch cricket. I have a tribute from the Variety Club I'll read now. As the 2022 Variety, the Children's Charity Bash Chairman, and on behalf of all NT Bashers, I pass along our condolences to Lenny's family and friends. Long-time Bashers remember Lenny well, one of the Indians in the Indian bus. A true example of too many chiefs and not enough Indians. <laughs> Brought a whole new meaning to Mohawk. <laughs> Lenny will be remembered within Variety as a valued member of Alice Springs Team 31 and the Northern Territory Variety family. Many NT kids and families are the recipients of the efforts and dollars that Lenny and the Indians raised over the years. Rest in peace, Lenny, and to Linnell and family, we hold you close to our hearts at this time. Peter Gregg. And from Cheryl. Len was such a kind and compassionate man. We had many phone conversations and my last one was two days before he passed. It was the best conversation I've had with him for a long time. We had a few laughs about our bruises. I will miss him terribly. And from Don Byrne, to my best mate, Len. I will miss you, mate. It was always good to catch up with you or talk on the phone. We could always have a laugh together. You were a very hard-working and a kind-hearted man. Love you, mate. Finally, a loving tribute to Lenny from Judy. We had 44 years together. We laughed, we cried, and we had our ups and downs, but we got through them all together. We have three of the most amazing children that we are very proud of, and four beautiful grandchildren that we love. I know Lenny will be remembered because of all the beautiful thoughts and memories that people are sharing of him. He was loved and respected and was taken too soon. We had so much more to do. I will always love and miss you. I love you to the moon and back. Judy. Now we will watch a photo presentation prepared by the family. Paradise. Jenny. 
Until the passion starts to rise I want to take you to heaven That would make my day What we are is what we are We share a bed, some loving and TV yeah. That's enough for a working man But what I am is what I am Now tell you, babe, well that's enough Sometimes when you're asleep And I'm just staring at the ceiling I want to reach out and touch it But you just go on dreaming If I could take you to heaven That would make my day
be assured that Len would not want you to remember him in sadness, but rather with a smile, even a laugh, and with a thought of all the good and happy moments that you shared with him. So Len is not just part of the past. Each of you carries something important of him with you into the future. This next piece is written by Henry Scott Holland entitled Death is Nothing at All. I have only slipped away into the next room. I am I, you are you. Whatever we were to each other, we still are. Call me by my familiar name. Speak to me as you always have. Laugh as we've always laughed at the little jokes we've always enjoyed <coughs> together. Let my name be always the household word that it ever was. Let it be spoken without effect, without a trace of a shadow on it. Life means all that it ever has meant. It is the same as it ever was. Why should I be out of mind because I am out of sight? Friends, be grateful that Len was part of your lives and let his influence, his character, his courage and his genuine warmth live on. As we draw near to the committal, please join with me or quietly reflect on the words of the Lord's Prayer or some may, may know it as the Our Father Prayer. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now we will commence the committal. I ask all who are able to please stand. Leonard John Russell, thank you. Thank you for the good times. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you for your friendship and your love. Thank you for your sharing of your skills. Thank you most of all for being you. You have filled your niche and accomplished your tasks. Your life we honour. Your departure we accept. Your memory we cherish. In grief at your death, but in gratitude for your life and for the privilege of sharing it with you, we commit your body to be cremated. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. You may be seated, thank you. <laughs> For you know we love you, and we know you love us. For as long as we can dream and as long as we can think, as long as we have the breath to speak your name, we will love you. Rest now, Len, at the end of your days. Your work is done. Rest in the hearts and the minds of all you love. Family and friends, may you find comfort and richness and example in your memories. May you find support in your love for one another. And may you find strength in your hearts to face the future. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the service for the late Leonard John Russell. On behalf of Judy, Nathan... Peter and Linnell, I'd like to thank you all for your attendance today. Your love, friendship and support is greatly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, starting with the family, if you'd like to write a personal tribute to Len, could you please make your way to the front of the chapel? Thank you.
of the family, you're all invited to the Wallaroo Hotel in Wallaroo for the wait. Thank you. Alexander Street. Thank you. 